You are now watching, By the Minute, where we highlight unsolved cases across the nation. From adolescents to adults, making friends can be a bit more challenging but the recipe to building bonds includes these main ingredients, similarity in values, shared interests, and activities. Two young mothers' and best friends' lives would bring new meaning to the term, best friends forever. Two women found dead from gunshot wounds to the head in a car outside a vacant house. Thank you for joining us. I'm Neely Jones. And I'm Mark Branch. Hall. Law officers are still at the house in Bonk, southeast of McAllister. Channel 8's Burt Momolo live there with the latest. Burt. Mark, the crime scene is just off of Highway 270. A tragedy in plain view, hidden in plain sight. The carport was roped off with crime scene tape. Inside the vehicle, two dead bodies, victims of foul play. Yes, it is foul play, and, and um, you know, we're, I can't really tell you much more than that. A relative of the homeowner says they came home around 4.30 this afternoon and saw the car parked in the driveway, noticed the two people inside, and initially thought they were sleeping. For now, OSBI says they have no suspects. Right now, we're just working out some leads and, you know, just trying to, to see how this investigation develops. The car just now taken from the crime scene. Authorities saying at this time they do not uh, have any suspects and that the identities of the victims have not been released. Totinica Illix, 24, and Emily Morgan, 23, two young mothers who would later be identified as the two women murdered in the back area. Totinica, a mother of two, pursuing a nursing degree while living and building with her high school sweetheart. Emily, mother of one, a competitive athlete, aspiring model, and a heart with a mission to inspire and empower women, wanting every woman around her to feel special. The last time both mothers were seen before their lives were taken was at McDonald's six miles away at 11.30 p.m. the night before. Investigators believe that this is not a random ordeal, whoever did this knew one of the ladies, knew the area and knew that the home was vacant. There are three children who suffer without having their mothers who were taken from them so cruelly. Why should these kids continue to suffer without receiving justice for their moms? We the community, it is time that we make sure that the person who ripped these kids' lives apart, spends their life, in custody. Authorities need help in solving this case and the Oklahoma Bureau of Investigations is offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. If you know something, say something. There are two families seeking justice for their loved ones and we can make sure it comes true by keeping their story out there, by the minute. Totinica and Emily are truly missed by their family, friends and especially their kids, please, Contact the Oklahoma Bureau of Investigations with tips. These young mothers deserve justice. Thank you for watching, by the Minute News, we can all help keep our communities safe, together. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more true crime news.